Oh my god, I just bought it, bro. What the hell? Oh. Fucking bitches. I have to wait a couple of days. Motherfucker. Welcome to your boyfriend. Day two. I bought the game. A dollar and fifty cents. Cause your girl broke as fuck. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Hopefully. I don't get jump scared again. Yeah! Okay, I'm taking out my headphones. Yo, chill, chill. Don't, please don't. Okay. Yo, I'm actually scared. This thing is nighttime right now. I think I have to, yeah, I reset. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did, uh, that last episode. So, I'll be RB. If you know what I mean, aha, 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 aha. Is it me or did they change this? I just, I'm like skipping through everything. Oh shit! There's people! Stop. Oh, she kind of sack. Oh my, oh my god, yo. Anti boobies, bro. Oh, that guy, he's happy. Done. So, Quinn, did you have a nice time with the stranger? Hmm, don't answer that. It's time to get up and face another day. What do you mean I can't answer that? Oh my god, is that my stuffy? Yo, oh my god, let me get Dodoko. My companion Dodoko. My sister and her friend made me a Dodoko yarn thing. And I fucking love it. It's for my birthday. Nah, no, it's like a month before my birthday, but I still appreciate it. And it's Dodoko is here with me right now. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, her friend and her friend's sister. So, yeah. Anyways. Back at it. Blech. I roll over my... I roll over in my bed for a moment. Every inch of my body is begging me to wake up. But I don't have the willpower to go on living. That is called depression, my friends. It's like I didn't get any form of rest at all. I fight the will to wake up for a moment, rubbing my eyes before sitting up in my bed. Yo, who actually rubs their eyes when they wake up? Ugh, I'm a mess. God damn, I am. What the? Whoa. Interactivity? My old, my trusty old game daddy. I love playing some Grave Harvest. Harvest Moon? While I'm trying to unwind. Press any button to start. What is this? Okay, this is not harvest. This shit's loud. You think this is an Easter egg? Oh my god, it's loud. Ew! What the fuck? Okay. It wouldn't let me jump again or attack. Fuck this shit. Dirty clothes. I've yet to wash. I've been too busy or exhausted to get these done. Huh. I've seen this plushie before. It blew up at one point. People swore up and down that it somehow exuded to this overwhelming feeling of disdain despite its smile. Now that I see it up close, I get what they mean. It had a matching axolotl plush that they released after it, but it sold in hours. I want this plushie at a carnival. It smells like cherries. Ooh, cherries. Cherries. Sunday. It's a Sunday. Nine to whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. I'm late for work. Idiot. What the fuck is playing? Finally dressed, I, wash I rushed out of my bedroom, making my way into the kitchen section where I normally put my work keys. Hey, looks like someone's in a hurry. Hell, you motherfucker be walking naked around the apartment, you fucking bitch. Man, don't fucking smile at me like that, you ugly asshole. Like, nasty. A surge of irritation floods through me when I hear Lucy's voice. Right? Right? I take a glimpse over my shoulder toward the deadbeat who wasn't making a life any my life any easier. But why don't I just kick her out? 
aren't i playing aren't i paying half of her rent or some shit yes i am in a hurry because some of us actually have a job I'm on, oh I mutter under my breath, grabbing my work keys from the kitchen counter and beginning to storm right by her. Again, with the guilt trip. She mutters something under her breath as she taps her foot angrily. Look, I'm trying, alright? Are you? Are you though? I just haven't had any calls back yet. She tries to explain, but I've grown tired of her half-assed excuses. I'm not even going to argue with her. Now is not the time because right now is not on my the time is not on my side. Fuck, man, I can't read today. I wave her off and make my way out the door, rushing myself down to the stairs and out of the apartment building. Oh, I thought that was her room, and then my room was like on the right or something. I don't know. And then like over here, like at the back, is the entrance. Anyways. <clears throat> First, a stalker. Now I might lose my job. With any luck, I might get hit by a car and die on impact. I mean, that's pretty good, no? Like, if I die on a car- Okay. Oh. I have to die, though. Not, like, get to hospitalize. If I die, I leave Lucy with the rest of the fucking, you know, rent shit. Like, leave her homeless. I don't have to deal with the stalker. And... You know, I don't have to work at this shitty job, you know what I'm saying? It's a Sunday. There's usually hardly any customers on Sunday mornings, but even then, it doesn't excuse my lateness. Yes. My god, is that my coworker? Yo, hit me up, bro. Rushing through the front doors of the diner, I dash into the kitchen and grab my apron off the coat hanger along the far end of the wall. The apron seemed to be the only place where grease stains don't get all over me. Fumbling to tie the apron on, I rush over towards the time clock and snatch my time card to punch in. Wait. According to this, I already clocked in. She did me a solid, didn't she? She did me a solid! Stop. Can you actually go both ways? What? Nah. Your boyfriend. Okay, never mind. I know. You can't go both ways. Doesn't make sense. Okay, anyways, my attention snaps towards the sound of the approaching footsteps. Whoever it is, they're not trying to be discreet as they carry on carry a clanking stack of dirty dishes back from a table. There you are. Where have you been? Who the fuck? I've been covering your shit for the past 45 minutes without the boss even knowing you're not here. Oh. This person did it. I feel like they're a they them for some reason. TK rushes right by me as they they see what I mean bro okay they gently place the dishes into the sink of soapy hot water wiping their hands TK sighs loud enough to make sure that I hear it they're like this all the time though always acting like they're a big sibling to everyone and keeping things in one piece I huff as I try to think of an excuse that doesn't sound as pathetic as my as my alarm didn't go off, but the truth is all I have, so I try to downplay the issue. I don't get why you're making such a fuss. We're pretty much dead on Sunday morning. You clearly weren't paying attention when you were you when you came barging in. Did he have an Austria? I mean, did they? Oh my god, bro, don't cancel me, bro. Did they have an Australian accent? I don't know. TK wipes their hand on their apron before gesturing for me to look out through the service window. Damn. What the? Are you kidding me? Why are there so many old farts here? I try not to raise my voice at the point that the fiber chomping boomers outside did not hear me. A tour bus came along. That's what happened. Now stop asking questions and start waiting tables. Yo. I actually can't do this, bro. This voice acting shit. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I'm done. TK hands me the spare notepad and pencil and nudges me out of the kitchen. Great. Here I am, hoping to have an to have an easy going day. So much for that.
The breakfast crowd is a nightmare. Karens and rec- redneck grandpas everywhere with something up their asses. Some even going as far as refusing to pay because I didn't kiss their goddamn feet whenever their coffee wasn't filled all the way or their T-bone steak wasn't cooked all what, cooked the way they wanted. Yeah, T-bone steak for breakfast. Not even breakfast steak and eggs either. An actual T-bone steak dinner with potatoes and steamed carrots. And then when one person refuses to order off the breakfast menu, there's a dozen more who follow follow sweet sweet sweet. I don't fucking know. Such a hassle. Why couldn't the elderly be more like my grandparents? Pleasant and polite. Oh, who's that one? Oh, this one. Eh. <laughs> Eventually, the crowd starts dying down, most leaving, to, most leaving to do some sightseeing, others staying to order more coffee or lunch. At least, these are the kind of customers that mind their own business and are more focused on eating than talk- or talking. Staggering into the kitchen, I let out a long sigh and rest against the wall, finally able to take a moment to relax. <clears throat> I know you want to get your feet, but you missed the table. TK sneaks over at my side, giving me a gentle nudge before pointing back out of the dining area. I roll my exhausted eyes and look over towards them. Can't you do it? I don't feel like having some kid hurl their cereal on me again. I would, but you owe me for covering your tables for an hour. Damn it. They had a point. With a groan, I lean myself off the wall, trying to strain my posture and stumble back out. Scanning the boots, I check all the tables I had already gotten, matching their faces and orders, table by table. I don't think I missed any. A voice chimes in from the booth to my right. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Hey there, stranger. Act casual, bro. Don't, don't. Oh, okay. I try to suppress my disgust, faking a smile as I ready the notepad and pencil in hand. It's a bad idea to make a scene in front of everyone. Hey, you. This day was bad enough, but now he is here. I thought I made it clear that I didn't want to see you ever again. Okay. I'm not doing that well with hiding away how much I don't want to see him. You did. And I understand why. Trust me, I'm not an idiot. He mumbles looking down at a table in front of him as he starts picking up one of the napkins. You didn't let me explain yesterday since you blew up and stormed off like that. I had to apologize to the florist about the outburst. Oh god, that's right. I'm probably not allowed there anymore. Not that I plan on going back now that his, this freak goes there often. Crossing my arms, I wait for his, his excuse, ready to publicly call this creep out. I never intended to stalk you in any way. You were just another face I'd see every day while I was on my walks. But over time, you became more and more captivating. A face that I couldn't help but stop for a moment and admire. Bro, how pretty do I look, bruh? The fuck? This bald-headed boy after me? <sighs> Snack, bro. I'm better than these two combined. As he speaks, he starts folding the napkin into a paper crane. Origami, huh? Origami! Or... How does... Or or so how does the... How... What? Or so how the story goes anyways. Jesus. He finishes uh, giving a hint of sneer upon that last statement. I tuck the notepad and pencil away in my pocket. You know, this doesn't help you sound any less creepy. His eyes shift over towards me, an eerie glint of his gaze as he smiles a little, responding to my reply. You're just playing hard to get at this point. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was not his fucking voice on day one. I swear to God, that was a different, that was a different voice. Oh, it got deeper. A jolt of dread shoots through my entire body. I don't know if it's the words, his tone, or the gaze that's setting off all the red flags, but I'm not going to stand here and analyze why my survival instincts are kicking into overdrive. 
playing hard to get, aren't I? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, man? Turning away, I quickly make my way back to the kitchen, trying to untie my apron with my sweaty palms. TK approaches with an expression of concern. They might have watched the whole thing happen. Hey, are you alright? What happened? What did he say? I can't do this. I need to go home. I hand TK my apron. I have... Just have Alicia cover my shit from now on. Whoa! Whoa! You're quitting? What did he do? Should I call the police? Because... Oh, no, no, no. It's not that he didn't do anything, bro. We don't need, don't need the cops. We don't need the cops. I don't want to talk about this, nor do I want to be bothered with it by the wow <laughs> with this creep any longer. Shaking my head, I simply walk out, taking the back entrance so that I don't have to walk into the psychopath's line of sight. I didn't even take his order. Rushing home, I occasionally I occasionally look over my shoulder, hoping that I wouldn't catch that stalker following behind me. I don't see anything. Not even signs of movement from the corner of my eyes, but I'm not going to let my guard down. I finally arrive in front of the apartment building and I hurry my way inside while pulling out my phone. TK has been messaging me this entire time about what happened back at the diner, leaving messages like, please call the police, talk to me, did you contact your family yet? All kinds of worry run texts. I appreciate their concern, but I just want to drop it and forget it all. Home sweet home. Hopefully that guy doesn't know what about where I live. <laughs> yeah. Keep thinking like that. Closing the door behind me, I shuffle in, dropping my keys on the counter. Great. Not only have I mocked my roommate for not having a job, now I don't have one either. I'm sure she's going to have a heyday once she learns this. I don't think she should know about that creepy man. Quinn? Is that you? My roommate calls out from her room. I don't bother to answer as I sink myself more into the sofa, feeling utterly, utterly miserable. Ugh. Like, why is her hair her skin? Like, you saw the other NPCs, but like, hers is like... Like, where's her hairline at? You know, of course she can't. She comes out of her room anyway, gazing at me with confusion. I normally don't come home early as I oh I'm always working overtime because of her lazy, jobless ass. Just like me. What the hell are you doing home so early, bro? You don't have no right to say that, you fucking homeless prick. It was just a bad day, so I left. That place wasn't working for me anyway. I'm good at telling lies to people that I don't care about, apparently. She doesn't seem to buy it as she tilts her head to the side, giving a little sneer. Yeah, I can smell bullshit. No day is worse than the, that truck driver incident. I sit there in silence for a moment, grinding my teeth as I debate whether I should tell her or not. Just then, I feel her sit down right next to me, looking a little more concerned now. Honestly, this is off-putting, especially since she never really acted like she cared about me when I first moved in. Come on, oh. Siflip. Talk to me. Yo, when you talk like that, yo, chill, 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 bro. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'll tell you, bro. Fuck. Bro, don't, don't be talking like that again. It's a struggle. <laughs> Shut up. I know I'm down bad. It's a struggle to think of the right words to say, but when I open my mouth, it all slips out. I have a stalker. The guy met me at a park when I was alone and, I wanted, and wanted to date me even after I turned him down. He just kept following me around. I saw him at work today and he was just... The things he said terrified me. He was saying I was playing hard to get and just leered me in. Oh, le leered, <laughs> leered me in? <laughs> no, I was playing hard to get and just leered at me. Oh my God. My roommate frowns a little upon hearing this, shaking her head before getting up off the sofa. You know what you need? To unwind. 
You're overworked with no day off and you got no creeps after your due to your after you do to your fixed schedule. It's time for you to loosen up a bit. Wait here. Yo, is she giving me like drugs or some shit? She walks away into a room. I half expect her to walk back out with a big sandwich bag of cocaine or weed. Well, it's not a big bag. She plops herself down right next to me as she opens a small bag on her lap, handing me a blunt before pulling out a lighter. This is the lighter stuff, so you're not gonna wanna- You're, go you're not gonna be on the floor singing the DuckTales theme song. It's just enough to hear you not stress about that perverted prick. I sit there, looking at the rolled up blunt between my fingers. Damn, I took it already? <laughs> My nerves are quite, quite rattled. My hands are shaking a little. I guess it's fine. I'm in a safe place, not alone, and no longer need to go back to the place of work where he knew I was. I suppose I could puff one out. Puff one out? You don't do this very often, do you? She lines up the, the other end. Patting my leg as I take the light drag into my lungs and hold it for a bit. She smirks as I cough it out. I take another drag. Bro, you didn't even give me the option to, to if I wanted to smoke it or not. There. Feeling better yet? Give me a minute. I just started here. I mutter, exhaling, exhaling the smoke from my lungs with a long and drag out sigh. I space out for a moment before taking another drag. For a beginner, you're doing well. <laughs> My roommate praises me before lighting up her own blunt. Leaning back against the sofa, she huffs the smoke up into the air. What a day this has been so far. I was late for work, had a creepy guy trying to hit up on me again, quit my job, and now I finally... Finally getting along with my deadbeat roommate by smoking weed with her. Bro, enemies to lovers? Yo! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Joking. Fuck her, man. Fuck her. The two of us don't say anything, but honestly, there's nothing to say at this point. Just the two of us easing our way into relaxation. As much as I don't want to admit it, this is helping out quite a bit. I don't see why I was stressed about that guy in the first place. All I need to do is get another job and take my walks elsewhere. Boom. Done. No big deal. Right? That's the spirit. My roommate says leaning forward to put out the remainder of her grass and standing up from the couch. And if he comes around, if he comes around, we'll just fuck him up. Most doctors can't even defend themselves anyways. Uh... I'm not sure about this guy. I think he's a special case. All I want to let out is... Oh, all I let out... What? All I... <laughs> Kill me! All I do is let out a stupid laugh before giving one last drag. I was about ready to put it out when there was a sudden loud bang on our door. Oh, how? How? Yo! 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 Chill. What the fuck? I would have jumped on my feet if I wasn't so relaxed right now. Shit! Oh, it's hers. Alright, okay. Alright, yeah. That's right, it better be hers. Her problem, not mine. My Lucy mutters before grabbing up the ashtray, quickly making her way to the kitchen area and washing it out with water. Oh. It's the fucking landlord! I just know it! She hisses, grabbing the scented candle from the kitchen counter and lit the wick. Just act like you're tired and I'll talk to him. Done and done. I don't bother to watch her go up to the door. Just opening it just enough for her to slip through. Already I hear the landlord raise his voice. What the fuck is that smell? My roommate closes the door behind her, leaving the rest of his words muffled on the other side. There is undoubtedly the heated argument going on, but I don't pay mind to how serious the situation is as I get up from the sofa, making my way back to my room. Oh, making my way into my room. My room. My dirty, dirty room. Walking in, I wake. I make my way towards the 
bed. Why is my clock not on? Flopping onto it and nuzzling into my pillow. I do feel like taking a nap anyway, so hey, perfect plan on acting like I'm tired. Score! My roommate eventually walks in, looking a little frustrated but collected as she sits on the edge of my bed. Damn! <clears throat> Bastard must have been sniffing around outside our door. Uh, why she look like a snack? Yo, chill, 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 bro. Okay, enough. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Done. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Doing this. 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 Fucking like checking people out. She looks down at my big state and smiles. Look at you. Already far out of it. That was some of my lighter stuff too. She teases with her head pad. With a head pad. How about we keep this night going? You look like you need it. She teases. She teases with a head pad. Yeah. Sure. I honestly have no idea what she has in mind, but at this point, I'm up for anything. Everything's a bit of a blur after that. Maybe? I recall some drinking? Did I do some drinking? I know she did. Not sure if I did or not. It's getting rather surreal in here. Bro, I'm like tied up. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the? No way. Did we do it, bro? Bro. Oh, <gasps> no consent. Ugh, my head. What happened? Lucy? She must have gone to bed after I passed out. Fuck. I need a drink. My head is killing me. Maybe I should take an aspirin before crawling back to bed. How on earth does Lucy live like this? This is wor this is the worst headache ever. Oh! Yo! Yo! Fuck! That got me a little bit. Who? Lucy. Is that you? The figure doesn't say anything as I hear a bottle of pills being handed to me. Um. I'll take the bottle. I don't fucking know what I'm doing, bro. I don't want to look closer. Stop. My head is throbbing too much to ask any questions. Of course it's her. Who else would it be? Taking the bottle from my roommate, I struggled. Well, I should look closer. I, I struggled to obtain the two tablets of my palm, in my palm, constantly either pouring too much out or pouring too much, putting too much back in. Eventually, I popped to. Oh my god! Oh, why did you give me the option if I wanted to take it or not? Yeah, I should have looked closer. Fuck! I got drugged. Eventually, I popped two tablets into my mouth before staggering words of it towards. The sink, cupping the running water in my hand and drinking from my palm to swallow the content down my throat easier. Thanks. I mutter, feeling around the counter to find my way out and back towards my room. My footing starts to get weak. My sense of balance seems thrown off with each step I take. Oh my god, yo, I'm so dumb, bro! What, what the fuck? Bro, I was too scared. Stop. I pause after a moment only now realizing that my body is starting to shut down. What did I take? I feel my body cave and my legs giving out from underneath me completely as I collapse to the floor. I'm caught off the rough landing as I keep a pair of arms as I feel a pair of arms wrap themselves around me holding me clo holding me close in an almost loving yet eerie way. Every drop of my blood runs close as I heard from a familiar voice whisper in my ear. I'll see you tomorrow. What the fuck? How did he get in? How I want to lash out. How much I want to scream for help. But whatever he gives me is working quickly. Too quickly. He knows where I live. Oh god.
Oh god, indeed! Oh my gosh. Bro, what would have happened if I didn't do anything or if I looked closer? I'm so stupid, bro. I'm so, I'm so stupid. Well, I, I'm keeping my route. So this is what would have happened. Okay, you know what? First of all, first of all, I thought I would get the choice to rather drink it or not drink it. Or let like, I would actually see him. All right. Or like, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. Anyways, next.